what do you remember about walking out in the maroon cap for the first time? <laughs> uh, it was a dream come true. Um, obviously, growing up as a West Indian, the first thing you want to do or the first thought that comes to mind is, okay, I want to play for West Indies. And being able to do that it really meant a lot to me. Um, I got my cap from Sir Clive Lloyd and I met him when I was six, so it was even more of a special occasion for me. What is your greatest memory of Test Match cricket while growing up? <laughs> yeah, many. Um, I'd probably have to say the Lara's win in Barbados at Kensington over the 1 for 3 when the West Indies won that Test Match. And that's probably the first one that would jump out on the list. And what is the best Test Match you think you've played so far? Funny enough, a lot of people would say Headingley, but I think the test match in Barbados again, when we played Pakistan, when we won, we came, basically came from behind in, in a sense. I would say that's probably one of the better test matches that I've been involved in. Uh, what are your thoughts on the ICC Test Championship? Your, uh, this starts with the India series. How do you think it, do you think it will help evolve the game and improve test match cricket? I think it's a, a good initiative. Um, uh, I think it's a decent gauge for teams to see where they're at over the next two years and they really have uh, a decent idea of who's the best team at that period. So I think it's something that we can really look at going forward as, as, as a cricketing nation and hopefully we can be one of the teams at the top when it's finished. And how cool is that you'll be having jersey numbers on your back in Test Match Cricket? How cool is that? <laughs> well, I never thought I would have seen it but it's, it's just nice to be part of it. And what about Test Match Cricket? Where do you rank Test Match Cricket in your list of priorities? You've been playing all three formats. Um, honestly, I believe cricket is cricket. Uh, I like the adaptability for each format. Um, as I said, cricket, test cricket, definitely be at one of the top of the list because that's what we know cricket as. You know, that's, that's, that's where it started at and the game has evolved and hopefully we can continue to keep test cricket the way it is and hopefully try to put things in place to keep it alive. Test match cricket is all about temperament, technique, mm. everything and a lot of long hours out there in the middle. So how do you prepare for such a test match? I think it all boils down to the mindset. Um, I don't think the, the basics of the game change too much. Uh, it's about knowing who you're playing against, the conditions you're playing in, and being able to adapt. And also uh, playing against India in the first Test match of the ICC Test Championship. The first series, in fact. Where do you rank India? I mean, you played against England very recently. Would you, where would you compare India with England? No, they're quality side. Uh, I don't think that there's any international team now that you can count out. Um, so it's about playing our game, making sure we know what they're going to bring and being able to combat that and basically bring our best performance. Okay, and uh, you'll be playing against Jasprit Bumrah as well, who has been doing pretty well in the last 12 months or so, in fact the last 14 months. How excited are you for that challenge? Yeah, it's, as you say, it's a great challenge. I'm looking forward to it. Um, he's one of the best in the world and being able to perform against him will show where I'm, where I'm at as well as a player. Last two questions. Your thoughts of Sir Vivian Richards? We're doing a show on him. He's on our panel as well. So, where would you rank him as one of the uh, in the rank of the West Indian greats in past years? <laughs> um, I don't think he can. Um, he's he showed what what he can do over the years, and he's just a master blaster. And also, your thoughts on Chris Gale sharing the dressing room with him. Chris Gale, the player and the entertainer. Your thoughts on him? Yeah, he's a great guy. He's definitely someone that. I'm sure everyone enjoys his company and it's a pleasure to be on the field and in the dressing room. And, um, he's a very good character and as I say, it's just nice to be around him and being able to learn from him and hopefully all the guys can see the same. Thank you so much.